Hello and welcome back to Brainwave. Today we're going to be learning about dative covalent bonding. In the last episode we learned about covalent bonding, which described a pair of electrons shared between two atoms. We can see this through the example below as a quick recap. If we look on the left, we have two oxygen atoms. They each have six electrons in their valence shell. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. When they share two pairs of electrons, they each have eight electrons in their valence shells. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because they're sharing two pairs of electrons, this means they have a double covalent bond. This molecule is O2, and the double co covalent bond is denoted by two lines between each of the atoms here. If this is new to you, please go back to the previous video just to recap before moving further. So now that we know what a covalent bond is, just what is a dative covalent bond? A dative covalent bond is a type of covalent bond, where both electrons come from the same atom. Let's use an example. Ammonia on the left, NH3, and ammonium on the right, NH4. As we can see, the ammonium on the right has got one more hydrogen than the ammonia on the left, and it's also positively charged. This means that the ammonium has got more protons than electrons in its structure. So how did this happen? If the ammonia was to come across a proton, hydrogen, which has no electrons in its outer shell, it would be able to form a dative covalent bond here, and that would therefore form ammonium. Before we move on, let's draw ammonium as a stick diagram. Let's start with the nitrogen. Three hydrogens. And now the dative covalent bond. As we can see, the, the covalent bonds are simply denoted as simple lines, whereas a dative covalent bond is denoted by an arrow. This shows that the nitrogen is donating a pair of electrons to the bond. Now, in the last example, we had a proton that reacted with ammonia to form ammonium. But where did that proton come from? Let's use another example. In this example, we have the reaction between ammonia and hydrogen chloride to form ammonium chloride, NH3 plus HCl to form NH4Cl. If we look on the left again, ammonia, NH3, has got three covalent bonds, and there's also a pair of unpaired electrons on the nitrogen atom. Hydrogen chloride, HCl, has got a single covalent bond here. If that bond were to break, the hydrogen, the proton, could move and react with the ammonia to form a dative covalent bond. It would do this by leaving both electrons attached to the chlorine atom. I've used different colours to denote where the electrons have come from. As you can see, for example, I've denoted that the hydrogen electrons, they're in red, the nitrogen electrons are in blue, and the chlorine electrons are in yellow. So as we can see with ammonium chloride on the right, there are three covalent bonds, here, here, and here. In these covalent bonds, one of the electron has come from the nitrogen, and one of them has come from the hydrogen in each of them. There is a dative covalent bond here, where both electrons have come from the nitrogen. And you can see that the hydrogen has left behind a single electron attached to the chlorine. As there is an extra electron left behind, this means that the chlorine is now electrochemically negative. And as the ammonium has now got more protons and electrons, it's electrochemically positive. So aren't these different molecules? Why do they stick together? Well, actually, there's three types of bonds going on here. There are three covalent bonds, as demonstrated here, here, and here. A dative covalent bond here but there's also an ionic bond here, which is a weak force of attraction between two different electrochemically charged molecules. And we can cover ionic bonding in a later video. Thank you very much for watching this whistle-stop tour on dative covalent bonding. 
If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And please message down below if there's anything you'd like to see in the future or if anything that you'd like to see me improve. Thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.